Everyone says we should be leaders, but have you ever heard of self-leadership? Hi, I'm Carly Myers, your friendly stress management expert, and this month we're talking about work and stress. And I brought on an incredible expert, Camille McKinney. Camille is a leadership coach and consultant at Leverage Leaders, where she helps women get out of their own way so that they can show up as the leader they were meant to be in all areas of their lives. Studies show that as many as 70% of women don't have a career plan, and about 40% of women are simply winging it. Today, Camille will share a simple leadership philosophy that you can use as a roadmap to a life and career by your design. Welcome to the show, Camille. Thank you, Carly. Appreciate you having me today. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So for those of us that don't know who you are, what your background is, how did you end up doing this work that you do today? Oh, wow. So um, my background uh, in corporate for about 25 years was in learning and development. And so there was one thing I noticed as I was doing that work was that there was a, there was a gap in what we were offering. And that really was around coaching. You know, you throw people in a classroom and you teach them how to delegate or, you know, all of the different skills that leaders need to have. And then you set them loose and you just kind of hope that it all comes together. And often it doesn't. I, you know, I can teach someone all day long how to delegate, but if we don't get to the bottom of why they hang on to tasks, <laughs> we're never going to, you know, be successful. So coaching was kind of a new idea as I, you know, worked through as a, you know, learning and development professional, but it was something that I was really intrigued by. So thankfully I had a boss that was really open to development and she sent me to get trained and the rest is history. And leadership has always been a passion of mine uh, yeah. because I believe that's where a team success starts is through their leader. So 100%. that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, I was going to say 100%. You know, and I remember you sharing, you know, I, I love that you're coming on the show to talk about this because you've been there, done that. Like we were talking before the show about how your career really stalled because you, you couldn't understand why you weren't getting promotions or why like your, your, your work, even the feeling like your work should speak for itself, but it wasn't. And why, uh -huh. why was that the case? And so I'm excited to have you on the show to just give us some tips on how we can how we can explore self-leadership for ourselves as someone who's been there. Yeah, so that's, you know, that's exactly true. I think for me, as my career progressed, you know, I had this belief system that if I work really hard, if I have high, you know, performance review scores, if I really work hard, I'll get, I'll be rewarded. I'll get those promotions. I'll be seen as the person who needs to have that role. And that just wasn't happening. It's kind of like the paradox of the high performer in the workplace, yep. right? And after I left corporate, you know, after experiencing that frustration and left corporate and started my own coaching practice and really reflected back, I could see how I was in my own way. You know, all of the work I was doing, all of the great work I was doing, I was firmly in my comfort zone the stuff I was really good at. Uh, and I noticed how I wouldn't extend myself beyond that comfort zone. You know, the walls of our comfort zone are kind of prickly. They hurt a little when we bump up against them. And so are we willing to be a little uncomfortable hmm. and really go beyond? And so that was something that really intrigued me in the thought of that. And, and so I kind of noticed how a lot of my you know, desire to be that high performer and really comfortable kind of continued into my own, you know, uh, business. I thought this isn't working. This just isn't working. So, you know, I think for me, that has really been kind of key in recognizing that I'm, I was in my own way. Absolutely in my own way. I feel like, so hindsight's twenty twenty, right? It's, it's always, oh, totally. we, we learn from, looking back. And so I'm curious, you know, what are your tips for someone who maybe feels like they're stuck right now and they're not progressing in their career or even their business where they want to be? 
and they can't figure out why. I, f I feel like the answer is self-leadership. And so how do we, what's the first step that we take? Absolutely. So, you know, you're right. Self-leadership, I do believe it starts from the inside out. We need to explore who we are and what we're bringing. And so again, in my reflection, I could see, wait a second, you know, I'm just willing to kind of continue doing the work that I'm doing. And like, you know, as you mentioned, my work should speak for itself. Darn it. <laughs> that should be enough. <laughs> and it just wasn't. So for me, self-leadership is that is the idea of who am I? How am I showing up as a leader? Am I willing to experience that discomfort? You know, have a little, you know, take some risks. And so I've developed this self-leadership model, which has six key components to it. Um, and they're in the order that they are for a reason. The first one is um, self-awareness, moving on then to self-knowledge. The third is self-acceptance. Mm -hmm. The fourth is self-regard. And that's where confidence comes into play. The next is self-care. This is where we learn to set boundaries and advocate for ourselves. And then finally, selfless, which is how we expand what we've, how we've grown ourselves with others. Mm. So I, I say, we got to start there. We have to start with looking at our own self-leadership and how we're showing up. So that's yeah, tip gonna, number one. I was going to say, we can't change anything if we're not aware of it, right? Correct. That It has to start with self-awareness. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. You know, wait a second. What was that? emotion or that fear I just experienced. What is that about? It's that willingness to be curious mm. about ourselves. Okay. And what do we learn about ourselves through that? Yeah. Okay. So we, we have the self-awareness. What's next? So I would say we need to start moving ourselves to the top of the list. As women, <laughs> we have a habit. I'm going to call it a habit of putting everybody else first. Mm -hmm. And there's, a, there's that sense of martyrdom that we, you know, if I put everybody else first, everybody else is okay, then I will be okay. And when it comes to our careers, we need to rethink that strategy. So I would say, learn to start putting yourself first. Learn to ask for, you know, investment in your development. Be willing to say, hey, look, this is something I'm really interested in doing. Is the organization willing to support me in this? Go out and look for sponsors. Be willing to put yourself out there. And you don't have to, this is not zero to 60. This is, you can take baby steps. What are you comfortable with? That's perfectly fine as well. The idea is that you have constant forward movement. I love that. And, you know, it's bringing to mind for me, you know, my own, my own career path back when I was working, um, I worked in the nonprofit world, my nine to five. And it, for me, it started moving myself to the top of the list, started with saying no to things that I just couldn't fit onto my to-do list. Um, uh -huh. my boss would be like, can you get this to me by the end of the week? And I already had 67 tasks to do. And I had to, you know, my moving myself up was saying, honestly, I, I, there's no way in hell <laughs> that I yeah. do that. it's not possible. Yep. Whereas, you know, in the past I might've said, oh sure, anything. Right. And that it can be as small as just saying no to something like that, or as big as, um, saying I want, you know, 20 K and raise. Right. But you know, whatever it is, moving yourself to the top of the list. I think I, I love that tip. So yeah. I, you know, we talked before the show, um, I want to make sure we get it in. I know we're wrapping things up, but what's your last tip? I, Cause I think it's so important. So the last tip is to really learn to trust others to do their genius work. You know, we can't do it all ourselves and we shouldn't. And what that requires is that when we, trust others, they are able to show up as their best selves. I think that's a key component to leadership. And that's part of the work we do as we're developing our self-leadership. My experience was when I learned to trust myself, it was easier for me to trust others. Yeah. 
Yeah, a hundred percent. I love that. And I think that, you know, is one of the keys to living a stress less life is to just be able to trust others to show up and do what they said that they're going to do. And, uh -huh. um, I love it. So where can we find you, Camille? Well, um, my website is leveragedleaders.com. So please visit. Um, one of the uh, things I offer on my website is an opt-in to get an exer exercise called Identifying Your Core Values. So when you land on the homepage, check that out. I think it's a great way to build um, the second element of the self-leadership model, which is self-knowledge. I love so that. definitely check that out. And of course, I'm on Facebook and, and LinkedIn as well. Perfect. So um, definitely check out those links in the show notes. And we want to know in the comments below, where should you be moving? Where do you want to move yourself up to the top of your list? Let us know in the comments below. Now, if you're feeling overworked and exhausted, we've got some great news for you. The Stress Less Company works with high achieving CEOs, business owners, and managers just like you to find that sense of peace and freedom that they desire. And as a result of our work together, they learn how to properly manage their time, tasks, and energy so that they can experience more free time, efficiency, and yes, even prosperity. Sounds pretty great, right? Well, you can apply for a complimentary Stress Less Clarity session today to start the conversation about working together with yours truly. Visit stresslesscode.com slash apply for more information. Now this concludes this episode of the Stress Less Show. I wanna give one last big shout out to Camille. Thank you so, so much for coming on the show today. My pleasure, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So if you've enjoyed this week's episode, let us know by giving us a big old thumbs up and hitting that follow or subscribe button. Thanks for listening, share if it resonated and we will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>